So we are hearing uh, quotes about you know that or he is living sterling sound. We're hearing quotes here and there. True about God is living in his instruction. But the computer folio program, he's living there so many mega gigabytes of processing in there. Or that he's living there in the pages of thousands of beautifully hard bound books which adorn my bookshelf in my room and in my house and in my library. But he's living there and in that conception, where there is a conception within Gaudiya Vaishnavism. And if we want to experience a fulfillment of those words, he is living still in sound, he is non different than his instruction, then that necessitates that we must embrace the conception of Sri Chaitanya We have to embrace that conception. We cannot live without that conception and simply honor him in the form of paper-bound books, computerized folios, marble murtis, and so forth. But we will have to join him by joining in that conception. And if we give so much praise to him, but we ourselves don't come to the conception, the proper conception, go to emotion, then that, that praise of him is, 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 it does some good to us. It does some good to people in general. But it does not do the type of good that can be done to the people in general or to ourselves. It is like propagating Nalabas. What will Nalabas do? Nalabas means the shadow of the holy name. It will give liberation, freedom from material mysteries. It will, it will defeat so many things. But all those things are a mere shadow of Pranabhan. Love of Krishna, love of God. If we propagate dovetailing devotional service, non avas, good we are doing to ourselves and to the world, but that good is nothing in front of uh, Sudhana, the pure name of Krishna. The pure name of Krishna does not give liberation uh, and all these things which is given by non avas. The pure name of Krishna gives one a taste of love of God. Nothing mundane. Even liberation is considered one day in the face of Krishna. So we will have to come to the right conception. And as Sri Sridhar Maharaj, he many times off, uh, answered the questions how we will come to the right conception, how we will come to Krishna consciousness. Many how questions were asked, and he's answered them. Guru, Sadhu and Shastra. By taking shelter of the lotus feet of our spiritual master, by associating with saintly persons who themselves are in that conception, and by studying the scriptures in light of that conception. Bhagavatam is not an alien literature to India, but who knows the meaning of Bhagavatam actually? Who understands what actually is the message of Bhagavatam? Those persons should be our holy sisters. Ramanujas are also studying Bhagavatam. The Tattva bodies in Udupi are also studying Bhagavatam. My bodies are also studying Bhagavatam. And many types of Vaishnavas are also studying Bhagavatam. All the Charyas also study Bhagavatam. Mahaprabhu is rejected. All of them. Mostly. He has praised Sri Darshan, the original commentator. And he has recognized Sri Darshwami. And there is a line from Sri Darshwami to the present day, the, through the sixth Goswami, to the seventh Goswami, to Bhakti, Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur, and to this day, and those are who, who are living under that teaching. They understand Bhagavatam, what is Bhagavatam, and they are holding association. So, Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra will help us come to that. Uh, proper conception, and in that proper conception, uh, then we will have the uh, merciful uh, presence and grace of Srila Prabhupada, and we will find that he is not alone, he is not in class by himself. It is sometimes said that Prabhupada is in a class by himself. In fact, it is a popular praise of Srila Prabhupada these days. 
but it is a mistake or a misnomer at least. He is not in the class by himself. He is in the top class of the top ranking servants of the Lord, who live eternally in the Lord's company. He's very alone. A mild body will say, my Guru is in the class by himself. Bliss is experienced alone. Om Shanti. Like that, there will be some mantras and they'll eliminate everything. We are not for elimination. A class by yourself means you have been sentenced to hell eternally. Not really where it is worse. The worst of hells is to be without the devotees. So we must see him in light of the devotees. Generally on this day we don't make this particular arrangement of putting Sri Bhakti Siddhanta's picture there in Lakshmi. Today, particularly, I wanted to do that just as a reminder. He is not alone in a class by himself. He would never take pleasure in his words. Oh yes, Bhagavan, you, you, you are alone and you are by yourself. That is like saying, Shri Prabhupada, you are a failure. Shri Prabhupada is always with his Guru Maharaj. And he is always with his Guru Maharaj. And they are all gathered together. Very, 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 very far away from here. When you study Sri Bhagavatam and Sanjay philosophy, you get some idea on this day now where all these great souls are gathered together. We were discussing the other day, there are many coverings of the universe. The last of the ten coverings, there are nine before it, the last one is 450 quadrillion miles thick. And after you cross that, you're just on the border of infinity, and they are on the far side of infinity, on the higher side of the infinite. And they're gathered together there. So how we will make our connection. Therefore, we should select our words of praise. Our words of praise of he and of them should not just be gathered from mundane feelings, mundane ways of praising. Somebody is coming, a politician. We are saying, oh, sir, you are a great man, great, great. What is the greatness that never can be defined? So we are saying, he is great, he is this, he is everything, he is the savior. We are saying all these things, people say these things. But without understanding which way he is great, which way he is actually the savior. So proper understanding is required. And that's why um, we are anxious to say something properly about him. Uh, in the days when Sri Prabhupada is present, the disciples <coughs> were oftentimes at a loss of words to really describe his greatness uh, and, and, and to praise him for his what his position actually was, how where he was situated. And um, so now as time progresses on, we should be very careful to understand and not simply take his glorification, something cheap. People are saying of Jesus, people are saying of Muhammad. But we find people are saying of Prabhupada the same. He's the way, the truth, and the life. But behind that, the meaning is very, very elusive. He's living there in that conception. So let us all go to that conception and find the holy